number five is the Saint Amour, which is a very romantic sounding name. Definitely a lot of structure. You definitely get a density on the palate, a grippy sort of nature to the tannins, a firmness to it, but it's not lacking in fruit. It definitely is very distinct from the fourth wine, which has that really dominant fruit character that, that's front and center to its experience. This wine is much more restrained. It's much more on, you know, red cherries, but, but lighter sort of red cherries, perfumed, uh, almost raspberry kind of fruit character. You get a little bit of the floral note. The minerality, I think, is really pronounced here. And the, uh, the, the structure on the palate is what really carries it. This is a great wine, very elegant, very fine. It's more on finesse than on power, but, but, it's, a, but it's a wine nonetheless that, uh, in spite of that, has a really long persistence on the palate, a really great finish to it. 